hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for all you do for this channel yes guys we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country we've got an interesting one we know regarding the ongoing crisis in the southwest yesterday um the senate president Ahmed Lawa, he took a swipe on um, Southwest governors that they were the ones um, inciting the recent ethnic violence. It's quite shocking that um, Ahmed Lawa would come from that angle. Anyway, right now, guys, um, Southwest governors, they've um, slammed the Senate president for placing a blame on them, for uh, um, apportioning the blame to them that they are the ones um, responsible for the crisis. This crisis is, we should recall that this crisis is not just in the Southwest, it's in every part of the country. Every part of the country is experiencing this crisis. And those states is having their own share. Delta states, all of the states, we are all experiencing this insecurity issue, which the ruling of Progressive Congress under the administration of President Mohamed Buhari has refused to pay attention to, has refused to end. You know, right now, in the middle of a serious crisis like this, an urgent matter, very, very urgent, APC, they are going about um, registration and uh, validation exercise. You can see where their priority lies, how they don't value the lives of uh, Nigerians, the, 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 the lives of citizens, because this one, the crisis we're talking about, is not just crisis. People are just running left and right. People are being killed. It results to the loss of life, and the president is still not moved about that. So, you know, um, uh, the Southwest governors, they've been having um, different stakeholders meeting. They've um, taken um, different actions regarding um, this, how this crisis is going to be ended, regarding the open grazing, what their position is. And, you know, uh, Kere Dolo was the one who came out so bold, really, really bold. You know, he was the one who started, um, who gave the eviction notice in the, in the first instance, followed by the Yoruba activist Sunday Igboho. After he gave the ultimatum notice, we saw how um, President Mohamed Buhari was um, dancing from left to right, not coming out clearly with a clear statement and a clear position on the issue of this Fulani headsman. And Akere Dolo put it before him that, Mr. President, enough is enough. Tell us where you stand. Tell us what your position is. However, up to now, We've not heard any word from the president. So um, after the Senate president slammed, uh, 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 took a swipe on um, Southwest governors, they've they've come back on. Uh, they've come back for Ahmed Lawan. We'll bring you all the details shortly. All that the Southwest governors are saying. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, click on that notification bell. Please press the bell until it turns grey. Thank you once again, and God bless you. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. Southwest governors yesterday took a swipe on pre the president of Sine, Dr. Ahmed Lawan, over his attack on them for allegedly inciting the recent ethnic violence which erupted in some states in the region. They, however, said they would not engage in a media war with those they describe as crisis entrepreneurs and divisionists on matters affecting the security of residents of the country, especially the Southwest. Lawan, in an interview with the Hausa Service, of the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, has accused the governors of instigating the crisis through their unguarded utterances. It described what happened in some parts of the Southwest, particularly in Ibadan or your state, where the tension boiled over, resulting in a clash between Hausa and Yoruba traders at Shasha Market as a failure of leadership. But in a repost, to Lawan, chairman of the Southwest Governors Forum and governor of Ondo State, Mr. Rotimi Akere san said the governors would not engage in a media war with any person or group of persons on matters affecting the security of residents of the country, especially in the Southwest. Akere Dolo, in a statement by his special assistant on new media, Mr. Olabode Olatunde said, at the risk of being repetitive, the governor, Akere Dolo, led Southwest governors would not go into the arena of media conflict with crisis entrepreneurs and divisionists. Oyo State Governor Mr. Shei Makinde also described the statement credited to Lawan as unnecessary and uncalled for. Makinde's Chief Press Secretary, Mr. Taiwo Adisha, said his principal, alongside other governors in the Southwest, had worked and would continue to work for the peace of not only the region but the country. 
He stated that Mekinde has never hidden his position on state police as he believed that some form of the crimes are better dealt with using the state police. Adisha said, one good example is that the implementation of the state's anti-open grazing law. During the VC to Ibarpara recently, the governor described the non-enforcement of the law, adding that such is an area state police would have helped. Crime is committed in localities and the existence of state police with people who know the nooks and crannies of the area will in no small way help in fighting crimes. The absence of that, as it were, we can say is a hindrance to the will of justice on a larger note. The Akiti state government also yesterday said it will not take issues with Lawans over his comment. The state commissioner for information, Mr. Akin Omole, told this day that the state government has no reason to respond to Lawan's comment since Governor Kayade Fayemi was not directly accused and that there was no evidence of ethnic tension in the state. Omole stated that since Lawan spoke about the Southwest governors, Akari Dolo was the right person to reply because he accused the governors together. The commissioner said that the state government would have been ready to respond if Lawan had accused Fire Me of foiling ethnic tension by his utterances. We are neither going to reply nor take issues with Senator Ahmed Lawan over the allegations. This is because he did not accuse Governor Fire Me of making any comment that could be perceived as foiling ethnic tension. Since he spoke about the Southwest, the chairman of the Southwest governors and on those states, Mr. Rotimi Akiridolo, is the right person that will reply because he accused the governors together, Omole added. Speaking on giant actions being taken by Fayemi to foster ethnic harmony in Ekiti state, Omole said a committee comprising all ethnic nationalities has been composed to fine-tune arrangements on how all contending issues generating ripples could be tackled. You are all aware of the committee that has been sitting with all the security chiefs to address every contending issue. Representatives of Yoruba, Fulani, Ebira, Hausa, Igbo and others are there. Even our traditional rulers are involved. To us in Ekiti, we are not going to get involved in ethnic profiling on the issue of criminality. We will deal with every criminal based on what the law says, not minding where the perpetrators came from. He said, it's a shame that um, President Mohamed Buhari cannot attend to the current um, insecurity situation in the country through, as he can't do that, he's using Lawan to pass the blame to the Southwest governors that they are the ones responsible. Can you see the whole uh, um, the whole game being played here? It's such a shame. Anyway, Akere Dolo, who is the um, um, chairman of the Southwest um, governors, has stated that um, he's, he can't be bothered. He's not going to answer Lawan. Unfortunately, that is not ready for any war of words. Because um, Akari Dolo knows very well. You know, it was the same Akari Dolo who put that challenge before President Mohamed Buhari. And um, he knows the sort of politics they are playing, how they are supporting the Fulanese. Well, my people, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.